Okay, so let's say that this is the packet capture that I have from a Skype call and I wish to model that in OpNet. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at only um, one way for the packet transfer. So my source address, I'm just going to choose one of the two stations communicating, um, which in this case was 94.215.95.18. And I'm going to filter out my Wireshark capture based on those packets I have in the IP source field 94.215.95.18 and now that I've got that I can flick through and I can see here um, I begin to see a distribution in terms of packet length and there appears to be um, perhaps acknowledgements of some kind um, and also perhaps some packets which are slightly larger in size now I'm going to export that and I'm going to export the displayed values and I'm going to export it as a comma separated value file. Let's call that test. Let's save that. Now that I've exported it, I can have a look at my um, uh, folder of things here and I have my original PCAP file my Wireshark capture file, and I have my test. I just rename that with a rename that with a comma separated value extension. I'm then going to do some processing on it. Now I have two C programs, um, a program that will generate the histogram of the packet's uh, length, called histogram so size, and I also have a C program that will give me um, a histogram of the inter-arrival times of those packets. So. That I've opened up in a, an application called uh, Bloodshed Dev C++, and here we have them. Uh, histogram size and also histogram arrival. And all that I've done is I've changed the file open to test.csv. Now because this C program exists in the same folder as a test.csv, uh, there's no problems at all. And I've done that for both the size and the arrival. So you can see here that I've changed the, the name. Now let's say that I wanted to perform the histogram size. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to compile and run this program. And it opens up uh, that CSV file that I've exported from Wireshark. And it tells me that the maximum size is 1434 and the min is 60. And my mean is 106 um, bytes in size. So let's say my maximum value is, um, let's say 1400. Um, in fact, no, I'll go for the maximum value that's shown here. My minimum is uh, 60, and let's say I'm going to have 35 bins. Uh, that will give me in my data file the, this output.txt, and it shows me sort of the way that packets are, are distributed in terms of size. Now, I could draw that in Excel, so I can open up that output.txt file, and that's going to be delimited by space. And then I can sort of quite simply plot this distribution here as a graph. And you, were, you could have a couple of arguments. Um, because I included the zero, uh, you could say maybe this is a normal distribution. Or you could say perhaps this is a, an exponential distribution. Now, for argument's sake, all that I want is a, a rough idea of the distribution here for this level of accuracy. For argument's sake, let me call that an exponential distribution, and I can then input that into OpNet. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I found that it's an exponential distribution. I then need to find out what the mean value is. And so I go back to this program, run it again, because it tells me the mean value. And the mean value is 106, or 107 bytes. So I have an application already built, and that application is in um, OpNet. So here's my model scenario. Now note here that I have different autonomous systems, um, and sort of I've just labeled the routers of, of those different autonomous systems. I have a Skype caller and a Skype called workstation, and I've just got some background traffic that is going to be sort of randomly chosen from these web servers. Um, and I've, I'm trying to emulate, and this is maybe a poor representation, I'm trying to emulate a, an aggregation point coming into the network here and coming into the network here, or I'm aggregated with the traffic coming from this LAN. 
but I want to build an application. I want to build an application based on Skype. So let me edit these attributes. I have some applications already. I've got a, a web browsing application that I've built based on some measurements. I have an application for BitTorrent traffic that I've built based on some measurements. And I also have an application for my Skype call. Now I'm modeling this with the video conference application. And I'm just going to model this frame size as the same distribution uh, as what I measured. Now it's a two-way call, so I'm going to model that as an exponential distribution with a mean of 107. I'm going to have that in both directions. Technically, of course, that means I might have um, a packet which is larger than the maximum packet size for Ethernet. But I just have to cope with some of those inaccuracies in this, this rather basic traffic model that I'm generating now. So now that I have the frame size information set, I need the frame into arrival time information. So let me go back to my program code, and I have the ability to generate a histogram of into arrival times. I shall just compile and run this. Uh, first, I need to turn off one of the programs. I'll just compile and run that. And that gives me a, a maximum value of 0 0.28. And I'll set the minimum value of 0, 0.0. And let's try 35 bins. Let's see what that gives us. Um, I'm going to open that again in Excel and see what it looks like. Unfortunately, it outputs to the same file. So I've now overwritten my previous histogram of output.txt. Um, I'm going to separate that by space finish and let's have a quick look so okay I could call that again an exponential distribution I mean you can play around with this to try and get the best model that you want I'm not actually fitting an exponential distribution and I'm not comparing it to an exponential distribution um, so this is rather coarse grain traffic modeling um, just to give us something to start with if I call that an exponential distribution again I need the mean value um, I'll just run the program again to find that. And my mean value is uh, 8.928 milliseconds. So I then need to enter that into my opnet model. I'll go to my frame into arrival time. Um, let's say it's an exponential distribution and it's going to be 8.928 milliseconds. And the same for the other one. And I've now built a traffic model for this Skype application that I can apply to my, um, to my test network here. Okay, so that's how we go from our Skype call capture in Wireshark. That's how we generate the histograms. If you wish to do better modeling um, of the PDS versus the, the output that you're getting, that's, that's absolutely fine. If you, if you wish to choose a better statistical um, model from, from which to generate your traffic, that's, that's great. But this gives me a fairly coarse grain uh, model that I can use. Now ideally I'd like to set up the model and just test how much traffic is generated, which I can then compare with the amount of traffic that's generated in Wireshark to see how well they compare. Thanks for listening.